First thing you're going to want to do is check with Nick and make sure that he doesn't need to save any settings that were from the last gig. It takes like two days to set things up sometimes and if you lose the settings it could be very detrimental to what the venue is doing. So if you just go to the master screen, go to system, and then you go to um, files, yeah go to files, load session, and then we use the podcast default here then you hit load session not save continue without saving yes because he did not need it and then once it loads you can see the faders change and you're going to want to mute everything for here now to get back to the main screen you hit this master screen here now you see your buses here you see Lenny host guest one guest two god mic 18 and dj lenny is the red mic host is the yellow guest one is the green mic and then guest two is the blue mic the god mic is um just this a uh, handheld mic and then the dj is um lenny so these are the inputs on the back mic 11 12 13 14 15 and then 18 and 19 are on the stage um, so we have these line outs here these line outs are just where the audio is going to plug into the recorder box one two three four five and six are what we are using and on the box here this will be We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the line outs from the board go the same way as they are here. So now we're going to take this cable right here. This is the four channel audio snake. So we're going to go with the same colors that are on the recorder in the same order, starting with one. So one is red, two is yellow, three is green, four is blue. So now we're gonna go in and plug this in here. You're gonna wanna take the female ends, plug them in to the board. We got red. for channels five and six you're going to use the these cables these are XLR these are XLR to TRS this is the TRS end this is going to go into the five and six channels this is the XLR end that's going to go into the board So we got five and six. So now you're going to plug in channels five and six. And then now you're going to have your red. And take this end and plug it into here. Your yellow. green and your blue so now these are all plugged in and ready to go if, um, you can turn apparently Dylan said Keel's mic okay yeah all right so that's right. like the Jump back. <laughs> All right, so we gotta find the adapter which is over here. So for Akil's God mic, this is gonna be on channel um, 15. So we have that 
going into here on the back of the board. Channel 15 is right here. It's on the right there. That's 15. You just plug right into here. And then, okay, you can take the guide mic now. Okay. And, uh, Let me know well, if it's unmuted. All right. So now, once all the batteries are in all the mics, you're going to plug them in. We call it the order as well. So, like I said, on the top of the board, it'll say what the inputs are. So, red is Lenny, because that's the first channel here. All these mics will go in color order. Welcome to the down. That's sexy right there. Thank you for making my voice sound vicious and delicious. Perfect. Give the for you. Yo, what's up? It's me. So red goes into eleven. And then you got your host mic, which will be 12. Is that frame good? I need a directory. Yeah. That's all this is. And then... Is Donovan's back? Blue. Oh no, we don't. As far as I know, we don't. Another thing I like to do here is I like to put the mic packs in order by color as well. Um, so the reason I do this is so you could see what's on. You could see if anything's muted. And then... Um, see so on the front of the mic you know it, it'll say what channel it is and then you can see levels coming up through here on this little sidebar right there you'll see the level come in if someone speaks and then your second line of seeing a level is here and then so Say you got a gig that's going on stage at the moment. Um, you will find out what input they're going on, and every every box on the stage has an input number on it. So to add an input, say if we wanted to pick, you know, channel 20 because we had a guitar plugging in, you're gonna want to hit this button right here, and then it's gonna say main input. You're gonna hit main input. And then anything that says rack, if it's in the number range, you're going to pick it. And then you can pick whatever is here. So say we want to pick instead of 20, 21. Now it's saying it's already used, so I'll just hit close and we don't have to worry about it. Um, but now I'm picking 20 again, so now we're back on 20 here. And then I can just close that out. So now we just made this channel here, channel 20. Um, we can put anything we want on here. Um, now if we hit gang, make sure that you hit direct out and then you're going to go to the local I.O. because that's the board, that's why it's local. And you go to local line and these are the outputs on the back of the board that go into the recorder. Um, so now it's this one's on line 7, but as you can see, nothing is plugged into line 7. If we had uh, more channels on our recorder, then we could use line 7. So we only have six channels here. So when it comes down to a band, our main challenge is getting all the audio coming in from the band and going to each individual channel on this recorder here. Also... The drops. This is the last part of this audio recorder right here. Power supply. So now, 
plug in the recorder. Also, when you're using the recorder, this is your card. You're going to get this out of the card case. You're going to put it in. Now, to turn the mixer on, you're just going to hold the standby button down for a little bit. And then now you'll see everything pop up on the screen. So now, this is a very important point here, menu, you're going to hit menu, you're going to turn the knob all the way till you hit card, you're going to hit the center button, and then you're going to go to format, and then you're going to hit the center button, and you hit the center button again to yes, format it. Now it's been formatted, so now you hit menu, menu, and now you're at the main screen. Now this is very important. You're going to want to hit record, and then once you're recording, you want to make sure every channel shows a level when you do your sound checks. If you see the level here, there's a line. You want to hit just up to that line. So that's pretty much good to go at the end of the recording you're just gonna hit stop and then it's gonna stop recording and then I usually like to hit record again and then stop and then you power the unit off by holding down the standby button it's gonna power off and then you could pull this card out and then hand that to Dylan or whoever is in charge of the cards that night or just put it into the card carrying case and that's pretty much it um, now back to here for the um, the line out any channel you can pick pick a channel that it needs to go to you'll notice down here on the bottom it'll say DIR line 1, DIR line 2, DIR, DIR line 3, 4, 5 and then you'll notice that the DJ is on 6 so the dirt out to get there you just hit gang and if it's too low here you can always turn the knob here and you can bring the channel volume to the recorder up without affecting the volume on the stage and I think that was at 11.8 so now you can go to every one and see hey this is going to the line 2 you know you'll see that one's going to line 3 and if you need to change it you just go to direct outs and then you just pick whatever you want. Um, you, you'll notice you'll have to do that if you have these stage inputs coming in. So we are pretty much ready to go. Oh, this button here, these will allow you to listen to your channels. Even though the channels are muted, when you see these red buttons lit up, the channel is muted. To unmute it, you just hit the button. And if they're muted and you have headphones, you can do actual audio checks before the actual, um, you know, you unmute the channel. So if they're backstage behind the door, you could just, you know, hit the mute button, listen to the headphones, check here, make sure you're getting decent levels, and then, you know, make sure that you're within range so when you unmute it, you won't get some nasty uh, um, feedback. Also, um, you won't be able to see the channel recording until it's unmuted. So when you're doing your sound check, just unmute the channel for a second and see that you're getting a decent level here. Also, if you want, you could just plug your headphones into here. You know, turn the volume up and then you'll be able to hear uh, what's coming through if you're unsure of how it's coming out of this board here. So, peace. So, is this one right here? Yeah. So this, if you're having audio problems, check to see if this is muted. If it's muted here, if it says mute here, that means it's muted downstairs. So, you're going to want to pay attention to that. Now for lighting, 
every time you turn this board on, it's going to take you to this screen here. You're going to want to go, you know, down to QList directory, and then you're going to hit Podcasts. I think that's the one. And then you're going to hit Go. And then now our lighting should be pulling up here. So every time you hit Go, it takes it through one of these. Now, to turn it off, you just hit snap and release, and everything shuts off. And then you can flip the switch on the back here once everything's off. So, again, if you hit go, it'll still take you through the functions here. You hit back, it takes you through the other one. So, we usually stay on talk yet. And then, um, this GM button here actually dims everything. So if you ever come here and you got the board on, but you're wondering like why am I not seeing any lights, make sure this GM button's turned up. So, and that's pretty much it, so. So anyway, to power it off, I went to system. So I hit master screen, you go to system, and then you go to shut down, and then it'll say, are you sure you want to shut down? Continue without saving, you hit yes and yes. And it says power off, and then there's a switch back here. You're gonna flip, I don't know if you can see it, but. Just gotta flip it right there, it's off. I don't have the um, code. Shut this down. Well, we can't shut this down now until they're done. But anyway, yeah, you just unplug all this stuff, pull out all the batteries, and then, you know, it goes in the box.